just wanted to talk about something really quick before I get to it with the video today and uh, I just wanted to say thank you to all the people that leave comments for my videos all the really nice comments um, I honestly never expected to have such nice support with all of this because I kind of started making these videos not really intending on many people watching them I just wanted to be able to share my knowledge and help others in order to help them take care of their animals and just seeing all of your guys' nice comments, it's really just the best support ever and I just can't thank you enough for that. That being said, I also want to mention that I'm not an expert by any way, shape, or form. I'm not like a professional reptile keeper or anything. It's not a business. It's just something that I'm passionate about and I started doing this just because I do feel that I do have a lot of knowledge on these subjects and I want to help others because there are a lot of people that keep their reptiles and maybe don't know, understand how to do it properly and aren't doing the best job. So I just wanted to be as helpful as I possibly can be. But that being said, I am not the best. I am not perfect. I make mistakes just like everyone else. I'm a human being. I'm still learning. There are things that I constantly want to keep doing better and better and I upgrade and I upgrade. I just want my animals to have the best possible life that they can. So I absolutely do love when you guys are leaving comments and letting me know suggestions for things, especially the ones that do it in a very nice and kind way because I actually will look into it and I recently had a comment mentioning how my crested gecko enclosures didn't have that much. Um, like plants in it and it looks kind of bare and you know what I totally agreed with that and so it's something that I wanted to improve so in this video I upgraded all of my crested and gargoyle enclosures and added a lot more foliage it was such a great idea and I love when people are just kind and mention things that I should change or add in a really nice way because I am I'm listening I'm reading your comments and I want to do better too so in the past, I did have bioactive enclosures for my animals, but then I moved here and I have all of my enclosures up very, very high and I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to figure out a bioactive enclosure for them just simply because the lighting is going to be an issue because the cores are going to reach up really high and the shelving unit is just not really going to work out well. I'm still looking into it because ultimately I would love to go back to bioactive. It was a lot of fun and just beautiful and I think the animals enjoyed it. But since I moved here they were just kind of on paper towels and everything was kind of bare and it was very easy for me to clean and maintain but now that we're like moved in here and more adjusted I definitely wanted to listen to that suggestion and make improvements. So I went to Michael's and I bought a lot of fake plants and it was pretty cool because there's a lot of variety at Michael's. You want to make sure that there's not wire exposed or anything so it's not dangerous for your animals. But it gives it a very naturalistic look and they feel way more secure when there's a lot of foliage in their enclosure. So I was all for this change and it was so much fun to make happen. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of my new enclosures now that they're updated and I would love to hear your input. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. He's checking out his new enclosure already. So he has a lot of new plants and things to climb on and on the sides I put these little pieces of paper. It's just like vintage plants and I like them because they can get stressed out if they see one another because I have tanks like lined up next to one another. So that just gives them more privacy. So. That's Chip's enclosure, and we'll see if he'll go in on his own. This is Citrus's new enclosure. This one's way smaller than all the other ones, and yes, it says GG because someone else had that on their enclosure and I just left it because I think it's funny. So this is him and his new enclosure. He still fits perfectly in here for now but I'm gonna have to upgrade when he grows but he's still very very tiny right now so it's easier for him to find his food in a smaller enclosure so that works perfectly for him for now. And this is Echo's new home. So he's in a 12 by 12 by 18. He's my breeder male crested gecko. And flop.
And this is Hannibal's new enclosure, another 12 by 12 by 18. And here he is. And go in. And over here is a little hammock, by the way. So I haven't seen them using it yet, but I'm hoping that now that there's more plants in here, he'll feel more secure and be able to go in there. And this is Cookie's new enclosure. There's Cookie right there. Cookie is my most crazy crested gecko. She loves to jump and just escape constantly, but she's being very chill right now. And it looks like she's enjoying her new setup. And this is my Lichianus gecko's enclosure. And this is Booger right here. So she has a lot of plants in hers that I just added. And there she is. This is Delta's new enclosure. Delta is not in here right now. He is actually breeding right now with Sunny. So I'll show you that enclosure that they're in for now. He'll be back in his regular enclosure in just a couple weeks. This is the gargoyle breeding enclosure for now. Delta is in this corner over here. That's his tail. He's hiding. I don't know if we can find him under here. There he is. A little blurry. And then Sunny is actually over here. And there she is. I haven't seen them mating yet, so hopefully they've been getting busy because I'd love to get some eggs from them, but they're both together for now and it's only temporary. Delta's going to be going back into his regular enclosure in a couple weeks. And then this is now Sunny's permanent enclosure because she is going to be a breeder female. And this is Oakley, my female crested gecko that I have gotten four eggs from now. And this is her breeder enclosure, so go on in there, lovey. Whoa, so she just gave me her second clutch of eggs and she's still looking pretty chunky. So this is her enclosure and she is alone because Echo has his own enclosure. I don't want to keep them together at all times, only for breeding purposes because I don't want her to get stressed out. So this is her enclosure. So that's all the enclosures for today. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I would love to read it and get back to you. I love the suggestions. Just keep it kind, keep it nice, please, because I don't really enjoy people just attacking out of ignorance and being rude because that's not cool. But for the most part, you guys are amazing. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.